I don't know, this might be a little too fully raw for some of you out there. <laughs> and for some of you, it might just be perfect. You might really love doing and trying something like this. Let me know in the comments. Hi my friends, Christina here. I'm so happy to share a new What I Ate Today slash Day in the Life video with all of you today. There's so much going on in the world right now and for many of us that can cause us to feel overwhelmed, burnt out, or stressed. A goal that I've had recently that I'm going to be focusing a lot on this video is sharing different ways to heal and restore the nervous system. So my intention with this video is really to simplify things and to teach you how to simplify things in your life so that you're not burnt out, you're not stressed, and you can call in more health, wellness, and abundance into your life. There is so much transformation and power in simplicity. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you more of those simple and peaceful and tender moments. I think it's important to remember that as we are witnessing things happen on larger scales in this world, that things are also happening in our personal lives and we're always going to be navigating different challenges and journeys and people and experiences. My invitation to you with this video is to start honing in on tools that you can call in when you need them to help develop more health and wellness practices into your life. Now is the time to really create new health routines for yourself and to start being consistent with those practices. Health is wealth and I truly believe that the tools that you cultivate now and the knowledge you are accumulating now about food and environment, sustainability, our ecosystems, this is the information that will change your life and will change our future. In the next couple of days, I'll be flying to go see my Jido or my grandpa because he is turning 100 years old. So I'm flying to go celebrate his 100 year birthday with him. I would not miss it for the world. I would highly recommend following me on Instagram because I'm gonna be sharing so much about his birthday celebration. There's gonna be lots of dancing and family and food and juicing and I just can't wait to celebrate my grandfather's 100 year birthday with him. My Jido is my hero and my favorite person in the world and I'm just so happy to celebrate this moment with him. Holy moly, 100 years old. This video is in collaboration with Osea, one of my favorite vegan, non-toxic, cruelty-free, and sustainably sourced skincare brands. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've most likely seen me talk about Osea. Osea stands for Ocean, Sun, Earth, and Air, and it's a female-founded and family-operated small business that creates the best skincare products so that you can glow from the inside out. I'm gonna be talking about Osea later on in this video, but I have to let you know that they just launched their new Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub. One of my favorite things to use on my face is a good facial scrub, and they have just created my new favorite product. I'm obsessed with it, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's a facial scrub that helps to exfoliate, to cleanse, and to glow. It has a nourishing whipped marshmallow texture, which washes away debris and excess oils to clarify pores for a revitalized, glowing complexion. The key ingredients of this new Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub include flower acids, kiwi-infused rice microparticles, glacial oceanic clay and bentonite, volcanic sand, blue-green algae, and cloudberry seed oil. This facial scrub is a game changer and it feels incredible on your skin. This new Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub is a dual action exfoliator combining both physical and chemical exfoliants. So if you're looking to buff away dry skin on your face or even clear clogged pores, this new facial scrub is for you. I live in a hot, humid climate and I'm always sweating and I'm always outside and a good facial scrub is essential for me to have clear skin. Up until now, I've been mixing Osea's Vitamin C Enzyme Polish with their mud to make my own facial scrub. 
and now they actually have their own facial scrub and it's the best. When I tell you that this is an incredible product, I mean it. Osea has been gracious enough to offer all of you 10% off your entire vegan skincare order by using the code RAWVEGAN and I've included that link and code below for you in the description. I love Osea's products and I use them on my skin daily. It feels so good to find self-care products that are good not only for your body but also the animals and the planet as well. Please check out those links below. All that being said, there's so much goodness waiting for you in today's video, so let's dive in and have a little bit of fun. Freshly juiced guanabana mango juice or soursop mango juice. Heaven in a jar. Heaven in a jar. I am so excited to share with you everything that I am consuming right now because most of it is locally grown. I am harvesting so much food from my property at the moment and also my neighbors have been gifting me so much of their overflow of produce. There is so much incredible, exotic, delicious ripe fruit that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video today. So much so that I haven't been able to get through it all. There's such an abundance here and so many cool varieties of things and so many fun combinations I've been juicing and preparing and this is why I love the raw food lifestyle so much is because it can be so simple and so delicious and so fun and this is where it's at. This is where the life force of the food is at is getting to enjoy the fruit that you're eating. This high vibrational food, the colors, the richness, the vitamins, the minerals, you feel it, it brings you to life. And this part of the journey excites me so much. It's more than just about the recipes. Don't get me wrong, the raw vegan recipes are incredible. They're so delicious and so nourishing. But sometimes one of the most exciting things about this journey is getting to enjoy those one ingredient juices, those delicious mono meals of ripe fruit and getting to enjoy eating things seasonally and enjoying what you have in abundance at that moment. And this video is so much about that. So I just wrapped up my morning workout. I've been having great morning workouts this summer. I wake up early. I've been getting outside and enjoying my movement and my breath work in the sun. For the most part, I've been working out at home every single day this summer. Maybe once or twice a week, I'll go to the gym and lift. It feels so good to move your body first thing in the morning. I highly recommend it. As you can tell, Mufasa is very frizzy after my workout. I've been super sweaty and the way that I like to replenish myself or to recover after a workout is to drink fresh juice. The first thing I drink pretty much every single day is 32 ounces of freshly pressed juice. Right here I have freshly pressed sugarcane juice, which is incredible. I grow fresh sugarcane on my property and I have a good friend at the farmer's market who has a press who makes fresh sugarcane juice that I've been getting. And I showed you this recipe this past week on my YouTube channel, which is fresh soursop mango juice. It's absolutely divine and it's just two ingredients but it's so good and with all of the guanabana we have going off in season right now and with all the mangoes we have this is such an energizing and powerful juicing recipe that you can try so that's what's up for my first meal of the day lots of fresh juice i'll do 32 ounces as you can see here i've already almost finished this jar of juice and as you can see i've already started on this one i'll probably drink both of these jars before noon. Drinking fresh juice is one of the best ways to replenish or to hydrate yourself and depending on how active I am throughout the rest of the day, I might sip on or enjoy another one of these jars. Think, Coco, are the juices good? What do you think? Are they yummy? Well, so what I have here are five freshly and locally picked ripe guanabana or soursop. Look at these! Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a treat. I've actually got two different kinds of guanabana or soursop here. I've got a fiber variety here and I've got a fiberless variety here. And you can tell when a guanabana is ripe because you see how it will, like look how ripe that is. It just presses in with your finger just like that. So ripe, it's ripe to the touch. 
it breaks upon me touching it. It's softer than an avocado and so you've got to be you've got to let them sit and be very gentle with them when they get ripe and then let me show you what they look like when you cut them open. The guanabana fruit is one of the most nutritious fruits. They're said to have so many healing properties. They're loaded with so many vitamins and minerals. Whoa, look at that juice dripping out. They're loaded with vitamins A, B, C, E, K. They're also said to have cancer fighting properties. Look at this, dripping with juice. Another fun fact about guanabanas is, is that they help to fight pathogens in the bodies and they're great detoxifiers for your liver and your kidneys. This is a powerhouse fruit. Now when you eat a soursop like this, there's a reason why it's called a soursop is because it has a very tart flavor to it. It can be a little tart for most people. If you wait until they're soft and ripe like this, it can just be juicy and sweet but they do have a tart flavor. So what I like to do is I like to juice them. As you saw in my juice this morning, I juiced guanabana and mango together and I made that morning breakfast juice I was enjoying. I might eat one of these today, but lately my favorite thing to do with guanabana is to juice it. It's actually so easy to run the guanabana through the Nama J2 juicer. And one of the reasons why I love my J2 juicer is because you don't have to seed this fruit before you run it through your juicer. It extracts the seed on its own, so you don't have to spend hours seeding it. You get straight, fresh guanabana juice, and it is absolute nectar. It is creamy, it's sweet, it's nutritious, and it is so satisfying. You can juice the guanabana on its own just like this, and it is a powerful, powerful healing fruit for your body. Or you can juice guanabana and mango together and try the combination that I was drinking and you can let me know how you like it. I'm not about doing something different all the time. I'm more about creating consistency and healthy routines that become sustainable, nourishing, healthy, and fun. The one thing I usually can't go without in my day is my smoothie bowl. I love smoothie bowls. Lately, I've been making this green smoothie bowl I showed you in a previous YouTube video. And I love it because it's got everything and it's super satisfying. My smoothie bowl will keep me full for hours and it's so simple and quick to make. I've also been making lots of smoothie bowls because I've been growing lots of bananas on the property and this is a really great way to use your bananas. This is a mame sapote, perfectly ripe. This is an absolutely gorgeous mame sapote. Perfectly ripe. For those of you who have never had mame sapote before, it's almost like a chocolatey, creamy custard, but it's just got such a unique flavor. It's so nutritious, super calorie rich, very filling and satisfying, and one of my favorite fruits. Two or three of these would be a mono meal, and I love them. Ooh Yum. Oh my gosh. You guys, this tastes like chocolate butter. It tastes like chocolate butter. Oh my gosh. Mmm. You savor every bite. Mmm. Since I've now shown you lots of fruit and yummy food, I'll share a little bit on what's going on in my life lately. To be honest, I haven't had much free time outside of working on the property. When I'm not creating recipes to share with you or hosting challenges, I'm working on the property or in my garden. When I do get a moment to have some me time, I like to escape to the beach for an hour just to sit in the water and to meditate, or to feel the sun on my skin. I've been enjoying my time with my fur babies so much. Just when I think I can't love them more, they show me how to expand my heart even further. Coco loves it when I take him for walks or hikes, and a few weeks ago we went on a really special waterfall hike together. Even animals love it when we spend quality time with them. Coco is my baby. 
I'm constantly working to become the best version of myself. Most of what you see in these videos is the physical component of wellness, which are the food and the exercise components. And I spend just as much time, if not more, working on my internal growth and emotional well being as well. It's hard to show that here, so I'll probably talk about it in another video, but I think it's important to mention. I've been harvesting lots of peppers, herbs, carrots, beets, and onions lately from my garden. And I've also been harvesting tons and tons of bananas and papayas. Did I mention I have lots of bananas right now? Because I have got lots of bananas. I need to do a property tour and update with you soon because there's just so much to show you. This is what my countertop has been looking like currently. Honestly, it makes me so happy. It's abundance. It's living food. There are lots of mangoes, tomatoes, guanabanas, bananas, sapotes, and more. Last week, this insane rainbow appeared right in front of my home. I've never seen a double rainbow this vibrant or full right in front of my home before. Every day, I remind myself to find the beauty, the growth, and the lessons in every moment. The things I love to do most for myself are so simple. When life gets to feel overwhelming, I simplify things. I've discovered that it's the little things that bring me the most peace. Filling up my cup looks like spending quality time with loved ones, animals, eating nourishing food, swimming in the ocean or taking a bath, reading, meditating, or pampering myself with natural beauty care. I love using Osea's vegan, non-toxic, cruelty-free, and sustainably sourced products. They're made from seaweed, so they're good for the environment too. I love everything from their cleansers, serums, body butters, and body oils, and I use them on my face and body daily. I absolutely love their new Sea Glow resurfacing scrub. It exfoliates and cleanses your skin to wash away debris and excess oils to clarify pores, leaving your skin revitalized and glowy. If you're looking to have softer, smoother, and more radiant skin, you have to give this a try. After cleansing my face, I usually follow it up with hyaluronic acid. I use their hyaluronic acid as a toner. I'll follow up with a moisturizer, and lately I've been using their blemish balm. It's a daily moisturizer that doesn't feel heavy and it absorbs quickly. It keeps me from breaking out. Once I finish cleansing my face, I will moisturize my body. I'm obsessed with Osea's Andaria Algae Body Butter and their Andaria Algae Body Oil. Osea also just recently released a new product called the Andaria Cleansing Body Polish. It feels like a melted honey butter scrub for your skin and it's divine. It's a skin exfoliator, cleanser, and moisturizer all in one easy step. I've noticed a difference in the softness, tightness, and health of my skin using this scrub. It's awesome. If you're interested in checking out Osea's vegan skincare products, you can use the code RAWVEGAN at checkout for 10% off your entire skincare order using the link below. We live with our skin and in these bodies, so take care of yourself with products that will love you back and protect the animals and environment as well. See my link below and enjoy. So something I've really been enjoying doing lately after I wash my face and get some body scrub on me is I love putting fresh avocado into my hair. I mash it up into my hair and I use it as a conditioner and I leave it in for about 10 minutes while I'm, you know, wrapping up my body scrub and doing all my other self care. And if you've never tried putting avocado in your hair and mashing it up, it's incredible. It's one of the best oils, natural oils you can put in your hair. I typically keep my hair care pretty simple and I'm usually making my own fruit and veggie concoctions. <laughs> and this is just one of the things that I do. So it's pretty simple. You just take some avocado, mash it up, get whatever you can in your hand. This is not a pretty process, by the way, for those of you who've ever gotten messy with avocado. It's, this is like playing with food fun. Sometimes I'll blend it up before, makes it a little bit easier. And then I just like start rubbing the avocado through my hair, like just like this. <laughs> this is actually a pretty messy process. So I'd recommend doing this in a space where you can get messy. Um, this is also something I really like to do before I go and I jump in the ocean is I like to put fresh avocado in my hair. I don't know, this might be a little too fully raw for some of you out there. <laughs> And for some of you, it might just be perfect. You might really love doing and trying something like this. Let me know in the comments. But I will say this, it makes your hair so soft.
hair all clean and moisturized. What do you think? So I just blended up this dressing and it is lime juice, garlic, the stems of parsley and cilantro with a little bit of pink salt and tahini and it is to live for. This is a live dressing. And my salad is a bed of kale and purple cabbage with some extra chopped parsley and cilantro, the heads of that, along with more purple cabbage, some pink kraut, some white jalapeno kraut. My friend Steph made this, it's so good. Shredded carrots from my garden, you saw me pick those earlier. Some cucumber, Zorro, Zorro, bo 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 bo. Spiralized cucumber, some purple broccoli, and some fresh sprouts. And some avocado from my neighbor's tree. These are the best avocados, Zorro, bo 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 bo. Back up, honey. Absolutely gorgeous. My cat Zorro loves fruits and vegetables. He'll eat my smoothie bowls. He's eating the avocado right there. Can you see that? Zorro's so funny. So this is the secret with animals is they see you eating something and then they want it. That's really the trick. Some of this beautiful and delicious ripe avocado right into this salad. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. I don't know about you, but I'm a saucy lady and I love me some sauce. I'll just get it all up in my salad and then I'll just mix it up and get all of that goodness in there. Look at all those colors, look at all those flavors. Nutrient rich veggies in here. This is where it's at. Mmm. You can't see all the beautiful purple cabbage I have at the bottom, but I've got a lot of beautiful colors happening here. Now this is a fully raw salad. It's all about the dressing and the sauce when making a salad that you really love. And there are also so many dressing and sauce recipes on my recipe app, my fully raw recipe app for you, and I'll link that below for you. I hope this inspires you to make your own rainbow salads at home with your own dressings, and I hope this inspires you to eat one raw vegan meal a day. You think you want my salad, but you don't really want my salad. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. If you'd like to celebrate my Jiddo's 100th birthday with all of us, please follow my Instagram at Fully Raw Christina. I'm gonna be sharing so much on my Instagram and on my stories the next couple of weeks, and I'd love to have you be a part of it. If you're interested in any of Osea's vegan skincare products, you can use the code RAWVEGAN with the link below to get 10% off your entire vegan skincare order. I hope you love their products as much as I do. We all deserve a little self-pampering from time to time, so enjoy. Thank you all again so much for joining me in this video today and for sharing this beautiful wellness journey with me. It is an honor and a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Sending you my hugs and my love. Bye.